Hi, welcome to Data Coder. In this particular video, I am going to discuss about components of a SaaS dataset. So let's get started. A SaaS dataset have two portion, descriptor portion and data portion. The descriptor portion of the dataset will give the information about the dataset like name of the dataset, dataset label, number of observations, etc. And it will also give the information about the variable attributes like name of the variable, label, length, if uh, any format or informat is used for that variable. So to browse the descriptor portion of the data set, we need to write the content procedure. And this is the syntax to write a uh, content procedure, proc contents data equal to data set name run. Let's go to uh, SAS and see one example. So here, in the SAS self library, I have a data set class and I want, the, I want to, you know, browse the descriptor portion of this data set. So to do that, I will write proc contents data equal to SAS help dot class. So now, my uh, class data set is present in SAS self library. So I have given just, you know, in this way, library name dot data set name. Now, if I will execute this program, I have got this output. It gave like, like, you know, name of the data set, when it's created, when it's last time modified, how many observations are there, how many variables are there, and the details of all the variables. So This is the default uh, uh, output of proc contents. Now, by, you know, using some uh, options, we can customize our output as well. So, the first option is out. So, using out option, we can create a data set of this content output. So, if I will write out equal to data and run this program, now in the work library, I have created a data set. Here, all the variable names are there, type of variable, either character or numeric. So, for numeric, it is 1 and for character, it is 2. And a length, variable number, all these are there. The next option is sort. Using this option, we can, uh, you know, generate an abbreviated output. So, now let us go to the SAS. If I use this option and execute, I will just get the list of all the variable names. Next is Varnum. This is a very important option used in PROC content. So, here if you see whatever the output I have generated, the variable order is as per alphabetic order. And if I want the variable order in such a way, how it is, you know, it is present in the data set, then I need to use this varnum option. So, now if I will use varnum and execute the program, now the variable order has been changed and it is in the same order how it is present in the data set here. Next is notes, no print. So, in the no print, if I will use this, the output won't be display in the output window. So now let me clear this result. If I use no print and execute the program, the output is not generated. Next is notes or no description. We will see uh, this in some time. And this is the, uh, you know, syntax uh, of pro content, pro content or content procedure. Pro contents data equal to data set name and here we need to use the options we want to use according to our requirement then run. So now see the no description, uh, no description uh, you know options. So here if I want to generate the uh, descriptor portion of all the data set present in this SAS self library, how to do that? To do that I need to write library name dot underscore all underscore. Now, if I will execute this program, it will give me the descriptor portion of each data set present in this library. So, to just verify this, my last data set over name over here is this and you know in the proc content report, the last data set what I got also same. So, now if I want to just you know generate the list of data set present in the library, not the descriptor portion of each data set, then I need to use this option notes or no description. Now, if I will run this, I will just get the list of uh, data set present in that particular library. 
so this that that's that's all about the proc contents or descriptor portion of the sas data set and in the next class next session we'll discuss about the data portion of the data set and how to create uh, you know the report using proc print procedure thanks for watching this video uh, see you on the next topic